Warriors, it is I, the Dalek Empire Emperor. Welcome to another Dalek Reacts. Uh, oh, uh, apparently the first question comes from Andrew Kirkbride, it says. It reads, remember the time you laugh, Golden Emperor, I'm Big Head, what? What do you even... What even are these questions? Uh, different Dalek versus Skibbity Toy, so I'll consider it. Did you save your night? What? 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 Can someone like ask like actual questions, not like weird things? The, the this doesn't make any sense. Anyway, are, are these guys... Uh, are Dylan Stolzberg and Andrew Kirkbride actually answering any questions, or are they just saying random stuff? I don't know why. Uh, anyway, um... Oh, but we have something. We have... Could you please call this title this week's Dalekast Famous World War II Ace Pilot? Uh, no one could hit it. Okay, very well. Right. I see. Yes, I will have a look at that then. Uh, all credit will go also for videos today. Are both made by are, are made by people I've seen before. Uh, apparently, the first two are from APC two two seven, and the next three are from Yarn Hub. And uh, normally, they do take quite a long time to uh, watch. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so they normally take a while to have a observation. Uh, I think um, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to have to call that, then um, I think we will save um, two for possibly to Dalek Reacts because um, I don't want to don't want to react to too many so maybe uh, maybe later uh, on maybe Monday I will have a look at two uh, I, I will have a look at um, reacting to the two that I've decided to save for anyway um because uh, I don't I don't want this idea to be too long that's the thing anyway without further ado credit will go to APC 2022 7 and yarn hub let's observe it okay here is the first video the first video is a wall of World of Tanks, the crew change. Uh, it's called, uh, apparently, um, Stop Ruining My Game, apparently. This is about uh, World of Tanks, apparently, and... I don't know what to expect, but uh, I presume it has more TF2 voice lines than that. Let's observe it. This is an impressive video, APC-227. Oh, I'm coming for you! Oh. Oh. Damn! Steady, steady! Ah, I'm sorry, mate! <laughs> Well done. That's some explosion, isn't it? <laughs> I am very happy! Indeed you are very happy. Wargaming 
eliminate you. Oh, no, sir. Ah, yes. Ah, soldier. What a surprise to see you. What the hell? Huh? Heavy, now is not the time to be spamming out, um, blue screen error messages. Where is your doctor, coward? Yes. Where is your doctor? Ah, no. Holy shit. Chipotle. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Uh. So that was the first video. Let's check out the second one, shall we? Uh, this one is another APC 227 video. Welcome to the next evolution. But yeah, as I said, I'm not going to have a look at all of them. I'm probably just going to have a look at two of, of the APC27 and one of the Yarn Hub ones. In -game. I don't want to make videos. We've got a way to let you play digitally downloaded video games and let. Okay, here's, uh, here's the next one. It's called 10 Years Remake. Normal day of. N normal day in World of Tanks. Uh, this is another stop motion video uh, made by APC227. I'm impressed to see how how this goes. Uh, uh, how, how this goes balls to the wall action crazy. Freedom! Give them hell, boys! Demo to demo, man, you're you're constantly destroying things. Oh, gee. I just realised. One thousand three hundred subs. Subscribers? Good lord, that's a lot of them. Oh! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stand in a Yeah, uh, c congratulations. Uh, I'm impressed on the milestones you're making there. Around like a bloody idiot! Yep. This will be the last time you see me. Well, apparently so. I hate you!
steady, oh, steady. Gotcha, you spastic little gremlin. Yep. <laughs> um. Hello. Ah, piss. Yep. Ah, piss. Indeed. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, you should have taken a shot, engineer. Well, that's what I call that was an amazing killing spree. Correct. By the other team. Indeed, you idiots! How how could you fail like that? You should have been trained better for that, soldiers. Anyway, we have another video here. It is uh, a yarn hub video. Um, if it's the yarn hub video I was telling you guys about, it's about ten minutes long, and it's about a a a, pl a an air vehicle that apparently no one could hit. Apparently. It's the 30th of June, 1944, and one of Finland's legendary flight. And this was made by Jan Hub again. It's another history video. Let's have a look. Playing knights gets behind an enemy P-39 and opens fire. The Soviet pilot spots the tracer zipping past. My goodness, this is so real now. It's like the Unreal Engine's definitely upgraded itself from the last time and instantly dives to evade. Damn. The pilot, Ilmari Jutalainen, follows suit, both aircraft plunging towards the ground. Damn. The Soviet pilot, attempting to evade the Finn's precise volleys, to no avail. Ilmari dumps round after round of his machine guns into the enemy plane, saving his cannon ammunition until the perfect moment. The airspeed indicator keeps climbing, the altimeter dropping fast. He switches to his cannons and pushes the trigger. A barrage of 20 mm is launched across the air, the shell slamming straight into the rear of the P-39 and shredding its tail. The remains of the tail zip past his cockpit, narrowly missing him before he pulls off the chase. He looks back at his prey and watches as it crashes into a village below. But he has no time to worry about the people on the ground. Wow, good job, man. Round, he pulls up, scanning the skies for a fight. He immediately spots his enemy as another of the P-39s flies past his nose, escaping the brawl with the rest of Ilmarie's squadron. Oh dear. Ilmarie gets on the chase, pulling up behind it in pursuit. The enemy notices him and tries to turn to evade, but Ilmarie fires a single cannon round. It strikes square into the middle of the enemy's fuselage, striking the engine and engulfing the machine in flames. Good job. He leaves the enemy to its fate and turns back to catch up with the rest of his flight which by now is pursuing the remaining Era Cobras as they flee for the Soviet border. He's far back, watching his friends in hot pursuit ahead. Oh yeah, that's right. This is during the Cold War, isn't it? Another P-39 turns into a fireball and falls earthbound. But then he gets a bad feeling. That cloud he had seen a while back had been odd. He looks back and spots it on the horizon. Ilmarie looks closer. His eyes go wide. That's not a cloud, it's a bomber formation. Dozens of Yak-9s, leading more than a hundred PE-2 bombers Holy between man. the formation of Alle 5 Lavochkin fighters keep escort, and behind it, even more Yak-9s fill the air. It's the worst thing they could have possibly stumbled upon, but Ilmarie doesn't doubt for a second. Forget the Cobras, there's bombers on the horizon. Follow me! The flight turns for battle. Climbing high above the formation and side by side with his wingman, they dive upon the first flight of Yak-9s they see, charging straight into the enemy with their allies hot on their heels. The Soviet fighters dive away and Ilmarie chases them down. They turn left and right in evasive action, but Ilmarie carefully takes aim and opens fire. The barrage immediately cuts down the enemy, 
shaving off its wing and sending it tumbling into the earth. The second yak increases his dive, desperate to escape using its superior top speed. The fin lets it go, more focused on the bombers. He rises back into the melee where the rest of the Finnish flight is busy with a flurry of yaks, just when a burning Soviet aircraft flies right past his nose. Ilmeri looks over at the bombers and sees them opening their bomb bays. Below them, the town of Julstila comes closer. He slams the throttle to full and races for the formation, but a flight of four Yak 9s turns to meet him. Ilmeri and his wingman are forced off their attack run, maneuvering away from the crosshairs of the pouncing Reds. They split away, each hounded by two Yaks hot on their heels. Ilmeri twists and turns in the air, playing his 109 to all its strengths. In the fight, he catches a glimpse of the PE-2s dropping columns of ordnance. He continues with the base of action, crisscrossing left and right, until the Soviet pilot makes a fatal mistake. He overshoots, and Ilmeri pounces on the opportunity. He sweeps behind the yak, and the enemy dives to escape. Ilmeri follows the all-too-familiar maneuver, the pair are picking up speed towards the ground as explosions rock the town below them. Ilmeri prepares his shot. He has him right where he wants him. The volley is short and deadly, cutting straight through the enemy's fuselage. It bursts into flames and spins out of control, becoming one more explosion in the war-torn land. Ilmeri rises back into the sky. The bombers and their escorts are long gone. He looks at the ground and sees the dust lingering above the bomb town. He thinks to himself, there's not much we can do now. But that's not the end of their day. The night's flight regroups over the town. Not one of them had been shot down. Even Ilmari's wingman, who also had two yaks on his tail, came out on top. They're flying back to base when they are once again faced with the call of duty. Another formation of Soviet bombers appears through the clouds, okay. even more PE-2s. But this time, accompanied by Il-2, Sturmavik ground attackers and Lavochkin 5 escorts. Ilmari glances at his fuel. It's marginal. They'd be taking a big risk if they attack this formation. Full of determination, they turn into battle for the third time. Ilmari leads the charge, diving to the attack with a PE-2 square in his crosshairs. His finger hovers over the trigger when he spots a Lavochkin 5 sweeping in behind him. In a rush, Ilmeri pulls out of the dive and turns away as a Soviet aircraft speeds past underneath him. Incredulous, he looks back to see the Lavochkin flying away at speed. The underpowered LA-5 was no match for Utilinen's BF-109G6. Many Soviet pilots were inexperienced at this time and hastily trained, but by using his speed to break from the attack, and get back to defending the bombers, this pilot most likely avoided becoming another statistic on Ilmari's victory tally, Probably. at least for now. Ilmari is unsure as to why the pilot made a run for it, later joking, He must have been in a hurry. Then, his low fuel Probably. warning lights up. He must make his way back to base, but more bombers are right there. Just below him, an Il-2 Sturmavik is following along the road. The Sturmovik lines up its target, releasing rockets and guns at the Finnish positions. Ilmeri just can't stand by and do nothing. Despite his fuel being low, he makes a decision. He's going in. He turns and dives to intercept. Last month, only one in four people who watched our channel was a subscriber. If we could make that one in three, we'd be well over one million subscribers. If you enjoy this video, we'd really be very grateful for your subscription. Thank you. Swooping in from above, his 20 mm volley strikes the Sturmovik. Ilmeri's aim is deadly and his shots rip through the wing and engulf the Soviet plane in a ball of flame. The Sturmovik turns out of control and crashes violently into the Finnish forest. Ilmeri turns away for home, but the Lavochkin 5 that Ilmeri saw breaking off from before returns in hot pursuit. This time, it seems, he won't be breaking away from the fight. This was to be his sixth and last dogfight of the day. In his book, he describes the fight in detail like this. Again, one LA-5 appeared behind me. I pushed the throttle open and started a climbing turn. My pursuer stayed inside my turn, trying to pull a proper deflection while I rolled away a little more over it 
Now the enemy pilot had to pull more and he got his nose towards me, but not ahead of me. I guessed that he would try to shoot anyway, and he did. He tested his guns at a range under 100 yards. His tracers, of course, went behind me due to lack of deflection. I waved my hand to him to show, you're missing. I had nothing to worry about because I beat him in the climb by 330 yeah. feet when we got to 13,000 feet. And then we would see what happened. He was falling steadily farther behind because I was making him pull to the inside of the turn and maintain a higher bank angle and due to his continuous efforts to draw deflection and shoot. I rolled my fighter into a steeper and more nose-high turn and he followed. Damn, then I rolled inverted right over the top of him. This startled my opponent and he rolled nimbly over at his small speed and began a vertical dive. This was what I had been waiting for. I pulled my stick back and went into a vertical dive in pursuit. I made some small corrections with ailerons and we dropped like stones for 7,000 feet. Then it was time to pull up. The target slipped into the climb so quickly that I didn't have time to shoot. The recovery and pull up was so tight that I blacked out momentarily. Oh dear. When my vision returned, we were going up vertically and then via half loop down again. This sequence was repeated several times until in one vertical pull up when the target was pulling nearly inverted at the top. I pulled tightly, expecting a stall at this low speed. Ah. The target was well in my gun sight and the deflection was proper. I shot. Flames flashed out of the airplane, although the tracers seemed to have gone into the cockpit. But I must have hit the fuel tank. Damn, that is some impressive action there. Ilmeri Jutalainen would land back at base, running on fumes, along with the rest of his squadron, with not a single hit to his plane. Whoa, it was his most successful day of the war, breaking in six victories. He was offered a promotion for his actions, but turned it down, fearing it would keep him from fighting. The war would end just three months later, with Finland forced to cede territory to the Soviets. But thanks to the actions of Utilainen and many other brave soldiers like him, Finland kept its independence. Cool. That was good. Uh, and sooner or later, PewDiePie was born. Uh, I would know, but Sweden. Incredibly, he finished the war without a single shot to hit his plane from an enemy fighter. We'd like to thank the Finnish aviation. That was good. That was really good. Thank you, Jan Hub, for making that. It is time to end now, viewers, if you enjoy this. Remember to subscribe for more. See you all in the next video then. Farewell! Thanks all for the enjoyable video today. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Empire. Or you will be exterminated. No resistance. I am the God of all Daleks.